In Western Mass, we check back in on the ongoing, if very different, labors of some longtime friends. The happiest places in, on earth are places with lots of bikes. For Craig Delapena, bikes are only part of his happy place. Bikes on rail trails that can transform an entire community is the gospel he's preached for decades all over New England. He and his wife, Kathy, still maintain their delightful Sugar Maple Trailside Inn in Florence, Mass, located, no surprise, a scant eight feet from a rail trail and where a shed full of bikes await their guests. Nice perk for an inn on a rail trail. A Northampton realtor whose niche is properties along rail trails, Della Pena's passion is helping to boost efforts to get rail trails done. As a former rail industry executive and writer on rail history, his vast knowledge and grasp of detail makes him sought out by rail trail projects that need help getting to that vital and final yes. Now, it takes a long time, but if you can't get places to yes, you can't get built. I've personally ridden on a lot of rail trails that have been coaxed into existence with Della Pena's help. But the one that consumes his time these days would be the biggest, the Mass Central Rail Trail. Following the route of the former Mass Central Railroad, the multi-use trail will wind just over a hundred miles from Northampton to Boston. And now I'm getting to, yes, the longest trail in New England. 59 miles of the trail are already open, often incorporating existing trails like the Norwatic, which I was able to get on with Della Pena and go over its iconic rail bridge over the Connecticut River. What keeps you still, after all this time, so passionately behind creating rail trails? I love seeing places get the yes. That's all I live for. I continue this to build out the trail network to make for better communities. It was on a bit further west to the Berkshires and Great Barrington where we checked back in with Jill and Rufus Jones. We visited originally in 2021 when the New York-based couple told us the fascinating story of how they'd come to buy the former vacation home of pioneering author and early civil rights figure James Weldon Johnson. Johnson was really an extraordinary American. He's under-recognized in terms of what he did for the country and for the world. In 2016, Jill and Rufus formed the James Weldon Johnson Foundation, a nonprofit dedicated to advancing Johnson's remarkable legacy through both education and the arts. Have you been surprised at how the general awareness of James Weldon Johnson, at how that's grown? Yes, we've seen a lot more awareness of who James Weldon Johnson was and the impact that he had on our culture. Everything from the NFL introducing Lift Every Voice and Sing as a national hymn. The symbol and center of those efforts all revolve around Johnson's fabled writing cabin in the woods here. Once thought to have been lost, Jill and Rufus happily showed it off in 2021, just prior to the start of restoration. And now, so first of all, there's a roof. Yes. <laughs> because there was a tarp up there when we were last here. The interiors next up were walking on the floor, which we couldn't do in our first visit. <laughs> Listen to that. This is what he wrote about in his poem. Soon, it's hoped, artists in residence will spend time in the cabin, even as Jill and Rufus are amazed and gratified at the steady growth of support. What made the project a labor of love to begin with is as strong as ever. We haven't reached our goals yet. The overall vision is to create a place where people can come to live out the values of James Weldon Johnson. This is where Johnson wrote some of his most famous works. So there's a loving sense in the land as well as a loving sense in this community. And we believe that Five Acres is a part of this magical place.
And support for the James Weldon Johnson Foundation and the restoration of the cabin continues to grow. With major grants this year from the Mellon Foundation, mm. the NFL, and the National Trust Preserve Historic, excuse me, the National Trust for Historic Preservation and others. This fall, the foundation also partnered with Williams College, all to honor Johnson's incredible legacy. Yeah, it's a lot of powerful support. Still ahead, a touch of the tropics.